This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. You have kind of a reputation as being one of the most anti open carry representatives in no. the State House. Now, uh, why would I have that? Well, uh, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm wrong. But I understand you voted, uh, you're one of the few people who voted to, re to, to hang on to this bill that would uh, ban open carry in public, in public buildings? I don't remember that bill. Oh, so you're not sure that you're not sure if you have voted against open carry in that case, and I should get out of the way. I'm sorry. No, I don't. <clears throat> if you want to carry, go ahead. I don't understand why. Yeah. Well, I'll check the list again. It's uh, possible the list is in error, and I appreciate and that. If you're not voting, people against. voted yes or no. Uh, there were only about ten people that voted in favor of the. Um, open carry ban, basically, but the vote would have been considered a name. No, I, I yeah. don't think it was open everywhere. It was you can't ban it from public buildings and such. I have never understood why the tax collector's assistant has to sit there in her office and look up and see a man irritated about his taxes with a gun on his side. You know, there's enough killing in public buildings that. I, I don't think, it, if I'm in the car dealership, I don't know as I want a guy coming in complaining with a gun on his side. So I don't you, think that puts either of us in a good position. So you do favor a ban on open carry in, in government buildings? Sure. Okay, and, but you're not sure if you voted for it? Well, if, if it was public building, yeah. I, I see, I'd okay. See, yeah, that should be up to the community. I know that it's, it's easy to forget every, I mean, you yeah. can forget some of what you voted for, but on other people, they remember it forever because it's the one right. thing they care about, and that's kind of how it works in the system. And you're with who? It's uh, Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. I've actually interviewed you once before on, on my channel. That was about four or five years ago. And you looked great. And you look okay now because at least you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the problems, uh, one of the things that come with being a public uh, elected official. You give up your rights to a lot of privacy. You know, I've lived in my town since I was four, and uh, you know, I know everybody, or everybody knows me, even though it's a town of 25,000. Well now, please tell me that you're against, you know, police open carrying in these same places too, right? I mean, you wouldn't no. want to discriminate between the two, would you? No, a policeman's job is to protect the rest you of us. You mean special rights to government people? No, policemen. Okay. They're sworn to uphold the law and that's part of their job is to carry a gun. Well, you know, you're eight times more likely to be killed by a policeman than a terrorist. Well, and, and most of who policemen kill probably earn the uh, reward. Let's hope so. Well, that's right. You know, policemen are, are in situations that I don't want to be in. Uh, you know, they have to go in and break up a fight in a bar between two drunks. And uh, one of those might be carrying. I don't, I think, again, you can't drive when you're drunk. I don't think you should carry when you're <laughs> over the limit. All right. Well, Representative Robertson, no, I, I appreciate your time. I just, I, I, rifles are to hunt with. Uh, pistols are to kill people either in defense or at least keep them from killing you. But uh, beyond that, I never have quite understood why a person wanted a machine gun. Well, in my mind, with open carry, oh, it's a... Open carry is almost more of a First Amendment thing than a Second sure. Amendment. I do it sometimes, and I never do it for defense. <laughs> it's, it's always because it's maybe making a statement of some kind. So in my mind, limiting that is like limiting the First Amendment. It's like limiting the free speech, because that's the most useful tool right. for open, ca open carry is to make a political statement with it. Right. But or, All right. People ask me tough questions, and I give them answers they don't necessarily agree with, like on taxes or gay marriage or whatever it is, it, if they're carrying a gun and I'm not, they're less apt to use it, uh, you know, because they can't say, well, he pulled his first or something. But, it's only a defense in very limited circumstances. Right, it's and I have that. never been uncontroversial, I've never been quiet, I've never been afraid to ask a question or answer one, and That's right. I've never felt a gun would have added to my <laughs> <laughs> ability to do what I do, which is and I've been serving my community in one way or another since my dad told me to join the United Way <laughs> or the Lions Club or whatever.
All right, Mr. Robertson, I appreciate your time. Yep. As always. And what channel? It's uh, you. It's uh, YouTube.com slash Ridley Report. But if you just go to RidleyReport.com, that'll get you there faster. Oh, okay. You can't get it on your cable. Uh, it, it intermittently airs on cable, uh, but it's it's just New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel. It's really all about YouTube. Okay. So, uh, in a few years... I'm not a terribly years, sophisticated uh, user. I am... Well, you don't have to be. No, but I'm old, you know. But you can type a, a .com, right? Sometimes. If you type RidleyReport.com, that will get you to my vids. Uh, okay. So. okay. Anyway, right. keep up the good work. All right. Well, you know, I get paid. Nothing else. <laughs> That's it. Thank okay. you so much. See you later. You take care. Driving in circles around Central Keene, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keene, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully. Urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.